what is up guys and welcome back to the channel so guys it's evening time here in Shanghai and I'm currently in Xinjiang district and uh, I'm just gonna ride around just to have fun and to enjoy the evening and I want to bring you on this trip with me so stick with me and uh, enjoy what I see let's just take a quick tour around the bike so I just washed the bike today and I'm curious to show you how it looks like So stick around and enjoy this ride with me. Let's go. guys here we go it's just a, it's just one minute past five and traffic is definitely building up because people are closed from work and they're going home this is arguably one of the the best districts in Shanghai it's one of the best places to live I reckon very quiet, very green, very organized and there are a lot of parks and green areas here in Sungjong town I'm going to make a right here yes, traffic is getting thicker if I had come earlier in the day there would be much less traffic but at this time of the day, just past 5 p.m., it's starting to get dark. Oh, that's a gold ring right on my side. Can you see that? Man. Guys, this is the dream. Let me get closer. Yeah, yeah guys, this bike is insane. Gold ring is a dream for most people. It's not even registered yet, so it looks brand new. It is a brand new bike. Yeah, one day I'll be riding on one of these. Fingers crossed. Work hard, save money, and buy that beast. Oh man, he makes me look really small. <laughs> but yeah, all the fingers are not the same. And he's gotten it out of hard work, so if we work hard, you can achieve that too. But it is a sweet bike. Yeah, so I love Songjiang district. As you can see, it's really organized. It's um, a lot of people live downtown Shanghai and they don't they've never been around here because it's quite far from the city center and uh, people might be tempted to think that Songjiang is a uh, is one of the deprived districts but no it's it's really organized and they've they've had time to oh, I, I mean it, it's developed gradually from where it used to be and so they've had time to to develop it into a really nice district so if you're in Shanghai or if you're coming to China in Shanghai and you want a, a cool district to explore put Sungjiang district and Sungjiang town on your list it's a beautiful place so it's not so cold it's about 18 degrees feels really comfortable in the riding jacket and 
because winter is coming <laughs> as was always said in Game of Thrones so winter is approaching and the weather it starts to get dark right around 5 so Shanghai is not as cold as Beijing and other northern parts of the, the country but yeah it is still very cold and January, February, March but usually November, December is still quite okay not too cold yeah so as you can see all the streets are really clean I bet if it doesn't rain around here you can drive your car or motorcycle for about a month without washing it because the streets are so clean no dust it's really awesome I'm guessing this Goldwing guy bought this bike exactly where I bought mine because in Shanghai there is only one Honda Dream Wing and they are in charge of selling motorcycles 500 cc and above there are other Dream Wings uh, well Dream Wing is the the name of the store that sells above 500 cc motorcycles in China you can get other Honda motorcycles from local uh, motorcycle stores but Dreamwing is the one that is licensed to sell 500cc and above mostly imported bikes so I'm guessing he got his bike from the same place I bought mine and the riding culture has become really really popular here in China especially in Shanghai and that has driven motorcycle plate prices to insane levels if you don't know about the motorcycle number plate prices in Shanghai I made a video a while back I'll put it up there so you can uh, click and watch it after watching this video and the prices are insane so I'm not really deep into Sonja, I'm just on the fringes, I'm not really in the town. These are kind of like the newer parts, but they, um, the central, central parts of the, of the town are Sonja town, are quite developed as well. Overall it's just a really nice district to be. getting dark now I don't know how much I can show you before it gets really dark so as you can see most residential apartments in China are like that because of the large population there is a lot of there's a lot of high-rise residential apartments throughout the city and throughout the country One thing that I like China for, and anyone who has lived in China before can attest to that, the convenience of just doing things. So unlike in most countries where shops will be closed, especially on Sundays and or some other days, and be closed very early in the evening, about 90% of shops will open seven days a week and some until midnight and convenience stores some open for 24 hours so it makes it really convenient to live in Shanghai so I'm crossing a major road here uh, these construction trucks They take over the road and they don't allow you to pass. Can 
And as you can see guys, China is a country of lights. So you have, just look at the street lights. They got lights on both sides. And they are just about 20 meters apart from the next one. And on each pole you have two lights. And on the opposite side you have a pole and two lights. It's crazy. There is no part of this city that is dark at night. And safety is... Shanghai, I would say, is one of the safest cities in the world. You rarely hear of crime. That's because there are cameras everywhere. And also, it's just overall, people who live in this city are not going to steal anything from you. But generally, China is a safe country. You can see in the distance another living area so only rich people and those who can afford live in houses they call villas these are single unit three four five bedroom houses two floors things like that detached semi-detached but generally that is the way that is how the living situation is in china live in apartments so as you can see Songjiang is pretty nice serene not as much traffic as you would find in some other districts especially those closer to downtown I live in Sungjang, but not this part. But I enjoy these parts more, so when I want to ride for fun, I usually um, come around here just to, to ride for fun. dark here I don't know how much more of this place I can show you some warehouses and factories oh yeah and another thing you will see a lot in China is there are factories and warehouses almost everywhere so you see a residential area and a few meters away there's a bunch of factories or warehouses and that is how it is and that's why China is known as the factory of the world you can see factories everywhere and that makes it pretty amazing they haven't taken development lightly they've gone full force at it if you think of the land size and they're having the largest population and the level of development China has reached, it is really, really impressive. That's a nice school over there. And residential places. So they try to make sure that wherever you live, all the amenities that you will need schools police station fire station hospital everything is kind of in close proximity so it doesn't matter where you live you can still enjoy life I'll make a left here so I can go through this living area show you a little bit more there are still more new
few places that are uninhabited or probably habited. So right in front of me it looks like there is a park, a walking area by the river. There's more construction going on here. There's construction going on everywhere. Don't know if it's healthy because they're already talking about housing bubble. But whatever it is, it is there. I don't know how much more you can see guys because it's getting really dark here I don't know if the camera is doing a good job picking up uh, the scenes so let me make it right here to see where it takes me I honestly don't know where I am right now I have a pretty good idea but Exactly as to where I am, not too sure. So I'm going to use the GPS to get me home. The local GPS is awesome. Got everything you need. Time to hit the road. Alright guys, so I'm using the GPS now and I've chosen the shortest route so it might not necessarily be exciting and either way it's getting dark so I think I'll end it here I hope I was able to show you a little bit of Sunjiang district and if you're in Shanghai make it a point to visit Sunjiang town and I'm pretty sure you'll like it and if you're coming to China or Shanghai you can visit Songjiang district just to walk around. Maybe you might like it and want to live in Songjiang instead of uh, downtown. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in the next video, ride legal, ride safe. Peace always.